Coming up, find out how the Shauna Clear sharpen their mental approach when inside the clubhouse returns. How, how much of baseball is the mental side of it? And kids will throw out 80, 90 percent. And then you say, well, how much do you work on that? And the kids will say probably 10 percent. Part of this learning process has uh, been um, with our sports psychologist, Brian Kane. He has been a huge piece of this. Teaching, teaching us uh, uh, a method and methodology of, of how to bring that about. And with Kane, we're uh, hitting him on the other end where mentally we want to be uh, tremendously prepared mentally for every situation, success, failure. Anytime you can get any kind of edge, it's going to be great, and especially in the mental game. Coming to a program like Coastal Carolina, really it's teaching. And I come in and I try to teach the coaching staff and the players a system for them to play the game one pitch at a time. The name of the game is uh, moving on to the next play, moving on to the next pitch without quote unquote clutter on your brain. And when we can do that more consistently than our opponents, we're going to have uh, an advantage. All that matters is this moment, this pitch. That's all we can control. You know, that call was a close one. It didn't go our way. So what? Next pitch, move on. If you, if you have a bad pitch on the mound, you're just going to let it go. You're going to maybe step off, get a breath. Um, and when you're in the box, same thing. Just let it go. Uh, get, get your breath. Get back in with confidence and know you can do it. The routine keeps you comfortable. The routine keeps you consistent. The routine is what keeps you you're giving away at bats against some of those teams in your conference that you're going to be a lot better than. Uh, they got the players to buy into it, and the players started to use hitting routines because the staff coached them on hitting routines and pitching routines. And when they used the routines, they had success. Anytime you can have success, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. The routine helps out a lot as a pitcher because you're playing every pitch. You're, there are no plays off. You're involved in every single play of the game. The thing playing here in the Big South is that you don't get those big crowds that you're around a lot. So developing a routine and getting lost in that routine when you pitch is one of the most important things that we can do here. And that, that routine set, I think, is a, is a great um, tool for our guys that they can always utilize that when things may be getting a little bit out of control. This South Carolina from last year, we learned from it. We take some experience from it, but that mental brick is gone. We destroyed those mental bricks yesterday by having the players write some of those things down on a one-inch board and put that board over two cinder blocks and dominate their head down through the board to destroy those mental bricks to symbolize getting rid of what's happened in the past and to focus on what's coming up in the future. Pretty afraid of the board. Um, I thought it was going to hit my ears on the, on the cinder blocks and rip them open and everything. But after I did it, 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 it was a big release when it happened. It, it just it felt really good when it happened. Uh, the eating fire was absolutely terrifying. Um, I thought I was going to, worst case scenario, stick myself in the face and burn myself. And we want them to start to learn to get comfortable with being uncomfortable and realizing that eating fire, it's about following fundamentals. If you follow fundamentals, you're going to be successful. The physical side is the easy side for, for our guys. They, you know, they love being out on the field. They love working in the cages. Uh, and then you have to add that extra piece, the mental side of it as well, and you try to put, tie all that in and put it all together. I mean, there are no guarantees. I can't say, oh, hey, last year Coastal Carolina was number four in the country. They're going to do the mental game again this year, and they're going to be at least number four in the country. It doesn't work that way. you still got to go out and grind, and you got to play, but the mental game helps you to unlock that potential. As much as he helped the players, he helped me. I mean, it was a tremendous opportunity for me to grow as a coach. I think our whole staff grew tremendously from our relationship with him and, and we will continue to have that relationship for as long as we can, can, can make it work.